Well, there it is. Witty here, welcome to the Warcraft Free Reforged Beta. It is actually now officially out. I haven't played the hacked version. I decided not to get into that because I wanted to wait until the official one has become available, and it currently is. So if you check your Warcraft Free Battle.net launcher and go to the Warcraft Free section, you might be lucky enough to have it be available to you. So we're going to go through what is currently available to us in the Reforged Beta as of today, the 29th of October 2019. It's literally only just become available. We're on patch 1.32. So at the moment, you can take a look at the options, which I think many of you will be interested in. So we have the menu. This, I believe, looks like the global icon. Perhaps you would click on that and choose which section, but I'm not sure about that because it doesn't do anything. Options with video, you can choose. I will highlight over everything, so feel free to pause the video if you need to. You're choosing between high, medium, and low for basically spell effects, the shadow, just the lighting itself, even the details of the textures of the terrain. You might be able to adjust this if you change this, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't want to faff about with it too much. You've got sound and music, the ambient, the movement sounds, subtitles. I'm not 100% sure what window focus is. We have disable mouse scroll and then your speeds. You can combine mouse cursor. I'm not 100% sure about that. And here we have classic, custom, or grid available. However, if you click on custom or grid, it doesn't do anything as far as I know. I'm not sure if custom turns on like the custom hotkeys that you maybe set up when you've used the custom uh, notepad file, but I don't think that's what that's for. I just think that's to be finished, you know, to be worked on. And grid is probably QWER, but again, I don't think that works because I haven't actually played a game yet. I'm literally just showing you this right now. Enhanced tool tips. So you've got lots of options. New ones being team colored life bars. Use special hero status bars. Show hero level. So this is now making it clearer. There's a little one or two on the left hand side of your hero um, on the map inside of the game itself. Show number for cooldowns. That's really good. And then HD contact. Enables reforge mode. Disabling this option reverts the game to classic mode. Ah, I see. So this is where you click to switch back and forth. And no one wants that. So always put on life bars. And you've got locale and audio locale. So we're going to save that. You can, if you've got a classic account, you can link it. I'm not sure how that one works. Because one thing to definitely note is I'm pretty sure we only have one account now. Because I actually logged out because I was curious whether I could create another account because when I opened up the program it just came straight into this so I clicked on log out and it said something about bonjour I don't know why that came up and then I had to actually log back in to my Battle.net account so the email, my password and then use the authenticator if you still got one of these things um, yeah so as far as I know I'm on this one account and this one account is me so you would have to invite people by their battle tag so there you have it I'm now witty no longer Geku. and you have the different channels you can actually join a different channel if you want to try to you can extend the channel panel hello and welcome to the Warcraft free reforged beta so there you have it. Nice uh, text. I quite like the look of that font. It's quite supreme. But we don't have this overall always on chat, which is a bit shame because most people are going to ignore this feature and therefore it might hurt a little bit of the uh, potential community that could grow it. So ideally this would be more like the original Warcraft 3, but I think they might be trying to revert more to, I say revert, push forward into that Starcraft 2, you know, Battle.net 2.0 thing, if you remember that whole debacle. So, with that said and done, you have your friends along this line. You can create your clan. And, uh, yeah, you can not go into your profile or see the credits, as far as I know. Because if I click on this icon, it doesn't do anything. So that's all the stuff that I could find on that side. So the last thing left is really verses. We have one versus one and two versus two, and you can only play as human or orc. So you either play as human, orc, 
Undead, Night Elf, and Random are not available. And it even says it's not the Naga. That's kind of funny. I like the detail on that one. So, if you selected one versus one, you go through your map preferences, and you would see that this is quite fixed. I can't veto any of these, so you're going to get what you're going to get. And the same for two versus two. These are the maps that are currently available. So, that's basically it. And I just want to show you this last bit. We're going to read through the Blizzard page that announces Warcraft 3 Reforged becoming available, at least the beta. So, it's specific, and what it basically gets to is you can only play 1 versus 1 or 2 versus 2. I don't even think I can play against the computer, but I might be able to set something up because I haven't clicked on that button yet. For now, we're just going to read the panel. Uh, Warcraft 3 Reforged multiplayer beta begins this week. The multiplayer beta for Warcraft 3 Reforged begins this week with limited access to the orc and human races within 1 versus 1 and 2v2 matchmaking. The undead and night elf races and more game modes will be added in the weeks ahead. So wait for BlizzCon onwards. Invitations to the multiplayer beta will be sent out over the coming weeks. Initial invitations will go out in waves to those who have pre-purchased the Spoils of War edition of the game and subsequent waves of invitations will go to additional players, such as those who have pre-purchased the standard edition of Warcraft 3 Reforged. The Spoil of War edition in addition to the access to the beta, owners of the Spoil of War edition get a few additional perks beyond the meat wagon mount in uh, World of Warcraft, Thrall, Anubarak, Jaina, and Tarunda in Heroes of the Storm, and the third war uh, car back in Hearthstone. The Spoil of War edition also contains... Da -da 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 -da. So you can see Arthas now on the mount. Didn't see that before, and you see Scenarius in all of his uh, glory. Looking... Uh, kind of awesome i gotta say he's emerald nightmare scenarius so that's keeper of the grove model looking pretty damn good and that's the fallen prince arthas so a little flashy version of some of their alter egos essentially now this is interesting here it mentions overwatch player icons human orc undead night elf and lich king animated sprays but these look like the models that are inside of the game so there's your archer model loading up and we've seen the ghoul from the previous BlizzCon. Uh, went back to Warcraft. Uh, you should check out their channel. And Grubby also uh, streamed the gameplay. So you got to see the ghouls. But we haven't really seen Night Elf. So perhaps at BlizzCon. Might be able to get some, see some Night Elf gameplay. I suspect so. Now we have Diablo 3. Malganus Pet. If you wanted one of those. Kind of cute. In StarCraft 2. You get these old school console skins. Which are a smack on reminiscent of the originals so that's really cool for those playing starcraft 2 and the starcraft 2 remastered spoils of war console so you get that as well so there you go this is warcraft 3 reforged being available now what i'm gonna do is probably play some games and i'll upload those as separate videos for now i just wanted this to be a demonstration of what i can possibly do in this so if i selected for one versus one and find match I reckon it's probably just going to go out there and find a match because I don't see the option to create a custom game. You would have to click on here. So for those that actually got the hacked version, as you may well be aware, there are half videos and I've even covered some of those videos, but I didn't really want to play it myself. I was happy to sort of watch it, but I didn't want to sort of interfere until I've officially got it. This is the first time I'm on this as well. I thought it was going to be on BlizzCon. I might get the chance to do this, but they brought it out. I'm still prepping for BlizzCon. I'm still packing. I'm still washing. Oh, it's absolutely exhausted. And now this has come out, so we're doing a video. So yeah. I'm probably going to go into a 1 versus 1 game at least, probably as each race, and a 2 versus 2 game, probably as each game, if it can find players, which I imagine at least in 1 versus 1 it should be able to. So, perhaps you'll be able to watch those as well. If you want to see more of this, thumbs up the video, check out the channel, youtube.com slash witty warcraft, WTII warcraft. I'm streaming live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash witty. And I'll try to bring as much of this information as I possibly can to you. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a really, really good day, because this is excellent. It really is quite special to see all of this now. And I'm getting super excited for the campaign. For me personally, it's the campaign. Grubby loves the melee combat. 
He's very good at it. The Back to Warcraft guys are awesome when it comes to their shout casting, so the replay aspect of it, all the things to gather from that. For me, I'm more sort of prone towards the custom games and the campaign and just seeing what they've done with that. And hopefully, hopefully we might be able to get some DLC for new content campaign wise. Who knows? Maybe a BlizzCon? Gotta, someone's going to have to ask that question. Anyway, I'm getting quite excited, so I'll stop it off now. Thank you very much, guys. Take care. Thumbs up the video, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.